Good evening, and welcome to this gala concert event. This concert was put together specifically to celebrate the 100 years of Lithuania's independence. So we tried to cover a vast amount of music in a short amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> so we will have music. Yeah. We'll have music as early as from the 16th century, followed by fabulous, wonderful, real folk style singing with folk instruments. Then we will have a wonderful concert pianist playing the com uh, Lithuanian composer Chilionis. Then you'll hear music of Lithuania during the independence time between World War I and World War II, some of the popular things. Then some of the things that were sung during World War II, and then in the time period that followed, uh, when Lithuania regained its independence in 1990. So we hope you enjoy this program. Uh, but two things, I would appreciate it if you have cell phones to put them on silent, because that would be great. Uh, picture taking, go for it, take all the photos you like, we're, we're all photo hogs, we, right? we love the camera, no problem. Okay, most of the time they say don't take photos, no problem with us. So, and the only thing I would ask you is that there's no intermission. Uh, so the program will go from beginning to end. If you need to leave, you want to get a drink, you have to use the ladies' room, men's room, I just ask that you get up and leave during applause, and then wait to come back in uh, when you hear applause again. All right, and, but uh, other than that, uh, I welcome you this evening. Uh, there was a short presentation I wanted to make at the beginning of the program, but one of the people to whom I need to make this presentation has not yet arrived. However, um, Lithuanians have a notorious reputation of starting everything late, and I don't want to <laughs> perpetuate that. Um, so therefore, I will, we will jump to the first piece on the program, Ave Maria. This piece is very significant for one important reason. Oh, here he is. This is the person we've been waiting for. So I will, I will wait on my, my comments about Ave Maria, and I'll get to the presentation. So you have to understand something about what it means to be part of the chair, right? The organization is 105 years old, right? We have relationships that have grown from, from childhood on. For example, I've known Michael Petka since we've both been teenagers. Um, my daughter and Robert and Erin have grown up together literally since they were six years old in this organization. Well, because you grow up with people together, they become part of your family. And in particular, the Petkus family has become a part of Council One. They're always coming from Dayton, Ohio, to Brockton. They're always involved in so many things. So, this evening, I have a wonderful thing to announce to you, that Aaron is now engaged to a wonderful man who's from Ireland, who is here this evening to join us. And, <laughs> so I would ask that come up on stage. For just a quick moment, come on. <laughs> matrimony, so we wanted to give them a family Bible, right? So that they can start the beautiful, wonderful, happy Catholic home with a, the with a family Bible. You can put all of your family, the history in the Bible and all of that wonderful stuff. So that's for Aaron to take care of. But there's another thing, my father, many of you know my father. My father would always say funny things like, you know, the best way to keep a diamond clean is to wash it in dishwasher, wash it in the sink three times a day. It'll keep the diamond shining. However, my father did say something else. Even a bargain for somebody. Yeah, he said that. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my father always said, although you need to put your diamond in dish soap three times a day, 
Scrubbing pots is man's work. Thank you. Now, on to our Ave Maria. <laughs> so, this Ave Maria is very important for one special reason. Five years ago, at the 100th Knights of Lithuania National Convention, um, Antanas Melus was going to sing in Dad Edwardas Vitotas Josepas Melus Jr. Uh, was going to play the accordion. But, um, unfortunately, um, Teresa Melus um, and his beloved wife died a few days before the concert. And so for that program, we had to redo the program, but this Ave Maria was not sung. And so this evening, we would like to sing this Ave Maria, and we'd like to dedicate it to the memory of Teresa Mel and to all of those Vice who have died, and for all of your loved ones. So as we sing, please, in your heart, pray, for whomever it is you would like to have Blessed Mother listen to your prayer.
Our next guest is Dr. Edwin Asminstamas. Last time he played for us, he was just Edwin Asminstamas. <laughs> now he has his doctorate in piano from Juilliard, as you will read in his biography, and he's prepared wonderful things for us this evening, and afterwards he will have a few things to say about one of his compositions.
me back here in Boston and of course thank Luigi, thank uh, Marita for putting a wonderful show on me uh, it's always a treat to be here to perform and this is a very special occasion for me because last summer when Marita asked if I would be in the country if I could come and be here I said that's a great honor, I would be delightful, delighted to, to come and he said, what if I wrote this, a piece for this occasion? And I had to sit here for a long time to use one of the beautiful songs by Balis Dvariotis, Oyushkilotikus. And I thought, well, perhaps I could write a song, a piece, where I have some parts to play by myself and some parts to play with Danuta and Mary. So uh, we had very little time to rehearse, but I hope that some of this <laughs> so it's a world premiere. Premiere.
Labas Vakaras. Good evening. We are very pleased to be with you at this very um, special evening. For us, it's an anniversary. Forty years ago, Vice invited us Sodauto, which was a brand new folk singing group in Boston, to create a program. Many of you will remember Father Jurgelaitis. And he was our inspiration. And he asked us to create a village wedding. And so we did. It was our first uh, bigger performance. And that was 40 years ago. So 40 years later, here we are with you again at your convention. And we're very glad to be here. <laughs> Lithuanian music is a really special gift to all of us. Music, singing, playing, it's encoded in our DNA, and you know it, you feel it. You feel it deep in your bones. And when a Lithuanian song is on, your whole body shivers with it. The music that we've just been listening to is beautiful and inspirational, but its roots come from very simple people in the Lithuanian countryside who took very simple items and created music out of them. For instance, we're going to start with skuduce. Each little pipe creates one sound. You can sit there all alone by yourself when you're tending your sheep, blowing on your one pipe. But if you have some friends, we have the most amazing, amazing legacy of music that it is intriguing, very unique to Lithuania. Syncopated rhythms, unbelievable what these young people out in the fields could create. In the same vein, many of the early Lithuanian, very unique to Lithuania, sutartinės, songs that uh, to the ear are, again, very intriguing, interesting rhythms, interesting dissonance, not just harmony. They're beautiful Lithuanian songs, but these old songs, some of them are really, they're jarring to your ear, and yet there's something really compelling about them. This is a sutartinė from we know that it is from the times of the Grand Duchy. Under the Tsar, a soldier would leave for 25 years to serve in the Tsar's army, and there was no hope of coming home. In this Sutartina, it ends on the soldier saying to his mother, don't worry, I will be back. I will bring you a silk scarf. <laughs>
We're going to demonstrate now, probably 19th century, a very rather noble dance. Lithuania was influenced by the other countries in Europe. So we have capellas with button accordions and fiddles, and we have dances that the nobles probably learned from France, from Poland certainly. Simple, elegant little walk, Dreilinas. We will now hear a song from the Kleipeda region. It is accompanied by Kankles. Thank you. 
Now, what you probably think of as Lithuanian singing, a whole group together. This is a song, it is a wedding song, and yet it's also a little lullaby. The mother is saying to her daughter, if you get a good husband, you will bloom like the rose. And if you will get a bad one, you will wilt like the mint. <laughs> take up two hours telling you the beauty of Lithuanian folk music, but Marita said 15 minutes. We're going, to, <laughs> we're going to end our portion with a lively little polka melody. Yes.
prašau visų muzikantų, nes liūt neturi 20 stigų ir jas visą suderinti ir pritaikyti šiam kambo ir šiloma yra beveik neįmanoma. Taigi, tęsiam programą su gitara ir esu paruošęs keturias liaudės dainas. Nemėluosiu, visos yra melancholiškos, kadangi, manau, visą lietuvių muziką turi šiek tiek nostalgijos. Ir pavyko tik tai rasti lietuvių liaudę šokį, kuris šiek tiek turi daugo energijos, tai jonkelis. Eiliškumas būtų toks, ganiau palsius jautelius, siuntė mane motinėlę, be užtantį užrelę, mano pati mėgstamiausia daina, ir jonkelis. So, yeah, get ready for... A uh, rocking classical guitar. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
I actually hope that half of you will be asleep by now. Say one tiny thing about this piece. Gunde mane berunujeles. 
very rarely heard piece. But um, the accompaniment doesn't really say what the words are. Because the words are very sad, this woman feels completely betrayed and, and, and heartbroken and crushed because she thought this man truly loved her. And he loved her and left her. But at the piano part, it sounds like she's going a little cuckoo. Not so good, not so well. She's not sitting well with her.
mira skarti ragas i buri rankas i reis magus tolia tolia yutta tatta tolia tolia yutta tatta tol kurki yosim kal shamai chos vodoti sanyu arnoshlai chu tolia Pilis oborines, bet virtesnis uskrutines, tolia, tolia, yuta ta ta ta. Bet virtus pilis oborines, bet virtesnis uskrutines, tolia, tolia, yuta ta ta ta. Stiprim 
was composed uh, in displaced persons camp in Germany by um, Josef Storala. And he had several sons who were fabulous musicians and one who was a fabulous uh, member of the Knights of Lithuania, Fausta Storala. And in this prayer, it's really basically a prayer. It says, dear God, return us back like the birds are returned back and take us back from this sadness to where we belong, back to our beautiful Lithuania. Oh 
Tu viska, hoj viska, se nej pamiršaj, Njaha tveri vartu, lajšku ne rašaj, Su greuk visus viltus, kelius i šardik, Tiek ta ka per kopas, mano ju palik. Su greuk visus viltus, kelius i šardik, Vien ta ka per kopas, Valdauju palik Toli ten už mariu Už jūru plačiu Sviruoja pušelį Vieną tarp smilčių Iškirs visą gyvę Šalia malauju palik. Tu viską, o viską, atimki iš manęs. Menulį ir saulę laukų ramonę. Už jūrų plačių Sviruoja pušelį Vieną tarp smilčių Gėlis vyginta rėdėj Ir jūra žydra O vardas pušelį to put on <clears throat> clear your voices get ready we're all going to sing now dainoyam kartu this is dainoyam dainoyam kartu 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 get you know get out of the I know. I know. I'm sorry. get out of the line. this is jorge lenokem malevokem get i edi whenever you're ready Ir genčius moiko, ir dėsos į aidas, ir slydo naktės tausų. Oh, 
Oh, Lord. 
Of course, um, <clears throat> you can't get me not to talk. So, one quick little thing. This song, Vilia, uh, when I, I always knew when I was pregnant that if I had a girl, her name was going to be Vilia. And there was only one reason why. Because Vilia was this beautiful fairy in the opera of the Merry Widow that any man who wants her can never have her. She's so beautiful and enchanting. And it happens to be a name of a river in Lithuania. So I figured I'd get the best of both worlds. So my daughter has always thought that this song was always hers. And I sing it at all programs. And uh, she used to, when she was a little girl, would run up on stage. So Vilios <laughs> Daina.
Getting to the very end of the program, this this piece is very important. Fausta Storala, come on, guys. Fausta Storala has was a member of the Knights of Lithuania forever, and he was at every convention and he generously shared his love of music with all of us. He accompanied for everybody all the time, but the most important thing is he had a tremendous love for the Blessed Mother, and especially Our Lady of Shilova. And that's considered one of the first apparitions in Europe um, in the 1600s. He wanted to make sure that he could write a song that was easy to learn, that would tell the story of Our Lady of Shilova. And so he wrote this, and he brought it to a national convention, and we all learned it. And so in, to honor him, I wanted to make sure that we sang this very important hymn. And so if any of you know it, please feel free to join in singing Our Lady of Shilova. And then on the refrain, he also wrote some Lithuanian words, so we will sing the Lithuanian words as well. <clears throat>
Lithuania gained its independence in 1990 was sort of um, the unofficial, we've grown again, we've come back to life. And the song says, in the land of Lithuania, great oak trees will once again grow. And so we ask you to please join in singing Jamelietovos, Ajolai Jaluas. Tuto kerami, že me musí dát, ale ti je si, když jdi mě dát, že me je tu vůz, až volaj žalás, až volaj. Yeah. 